Isang mapagpalang araw mga brad, subakbakan na nga po ang dalawang magigiting na mandirigma sa ibabo ng ring na si Jonas Sultan at Japanese fighter na si Rico Masuda. May kasalukoy ang record ngayon si Jonas Sultan na 19 wins, 11 knockout at may 6 na talo at may 57.89% knockout ratio. Samantalang ang hapo naman ang may record na 3 wins, 3 knockout at may 1 talo at may 100% knockout ratio. Pero bago ang kanilang sagupaan mga brad, ay atin munang kilatisin ang dalawa kung sino ba sa kanila ang dihado at llamado. Tara mga brad, panoorin po natin ang kanilang naging bakbakan. Noong October 30, 2021, nakalaban dito ng ating kababayan na si Juna Sultan, ang Puerto Rican na knockout artist na si Carlos Caraballo na may record na 14 wins, 14 knockout at may santalo at may 100% knockout ratio. Talagang heavy underdog dito si Sultan. Pero apat na beses niya itong pinabagsak at naipanalo niya ang laban. Jonas Sultan in the black trunks pushing forward out of the Philippines against the Puerto Rican Carlos Caraballo. Red and white trunks. Nice quick hands from Caraballo but then he gets caught to the body by Jonas Sultan. And now down goes Caraballo. And he looks a lot more polished. And this is, this is time for Caraballo to respond. Oh, the fight was all about. Training letter. He's never fought. Yeah, he's a nice left there by Caraballo, who has been down against Pedro Rodriguez once before. I want you guys at home to pay attention when Caraballo, when he throws a combination, he lifts his head up. Again, it's the patience. It's the patience. Ooh. That's another knockdown for Jonas Sultan for the second time in this fight by Jonas Sultan. He's coming in for the finish with a vicious uppercut. Leonardo Gretchen, that's what it's all about. Let's slip. Sice attacks by Sultan. That's what's giving him problems. Patient. It's not reckless aggression. He's pressing forward, inching closer and closer, and they definitely see improvement. You can tell he's thinking. Sultan allowing his punches to do the talking. And there goes Caravaggio with a good close to that round. And they're calling it a knockdown. Absolutely. You can do it. You're gonna be thinking about it. And Sultan is still coming forward, Lenny. Oh, because he's 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts. He's patient. He's not one of those guys that's enamored with his punching power. He's okay. Fighter Ring says philosophy for, philosophy for this fight was winning round. I'm gonna take it. That's what he said. In terms of how he's gonna win this fight, is now both fighters exchange right in the center of the ring. One, two. He made the adjustment. Yes, yeah, he got something up. Oh, Don't nice left hook. Yeah. Caraballo fighting a home for that left hand. And here comes the onslaught from the Puerto Rican who gets the crowd hyped up here. Caraballo wants for a low blow. And then he goes to the head. And with the jab, when you trying to set up your offense? You got to regroup. But here we go. The crowd is on their feet. Very nice stick for C. Anytime. Caraballo early on in Manny Pacquiao's career. Back him up. Yes. That's not helping him right now, Bernardo. Yeah. He's breathing pretty hard, too. Ooh, nice left from Carvalho. The one thing that's improved, too, is Jonas Sultan, his defense. Oh, footwork right there, Carvalho. And that combination was set up by that footwork. But then it's early to go to that well, isn't it? Round number six. Usually we hear that really late in the fight, Dre. Right? <laughs> Gotta tell them how they can win the fight. Give them some... Oh! And maybe that's exactly what Jonas Sultan needed. And he's hurt. You see a little momentum shift and then boom! All it takes is one punch. That's the beauty about box. It really just started. And it's new territory after this round four. The Sultan has been 12 four times. In against a hard puncher, Jonas Sultan, who's a stalker, who's on him right now, and will be in uncharted territory. When I found it was still around in favor of Jonas Sultan. Keep boxing, use your jab, and stay out of the damn corners. That Carabao needs to move. He needs to move to his right. And I'll tell you another thing. Over the top and catch Carabao. And if Carabao, here he comes with his money shot. That left hook that lands repeatedly on the... As 
that left hook, and that right hand and down goes. Ooh, Fulton was down from a two punch combination, and uh, it doesn't really matter what we saw. It's what Johnny Collins saw. And that's a good shot from Carvalho with the left. Sultan is looping his shots. Great spot for Carvalho to take advantage of that like he does there with the left hook. Carvalho has now made Sultan bleed from the right cheekbone and now it's Carvalho who slips after landing a big shot. One, two from Carvalho. He's found a second win and he's making yeah, Sultan pay for the three visits to the canvas. He's going for it. He's going for it, Bernardo. Sultan's right hand doesn't have that same crisp power behind it, but Carvalho's left does. Two rounds. He'd never been past six. What was going to be his reaction in the last three rounds? There it is once again, and Sultan reeling backwards. Okay, once again, their feet get tangled. It happens all the time on the same side. Nice left uppercut from Carvalho. So much so where he doesn't feel comfortable coming forward. Oh, but down goes Carvalho once again. Yeah, he was having his best moment. Oh, there's Jonas Sultan walking down Carlos Carvalho here. States that Sultan's been able to take advantage of that marks a huge difference in this fight. At noong December 3 naman ay nakalaban ng hapon na si Riku Masuda, ang Korean fighter na si Jong Ho An. At tinapos niya rin ito by a technical knockout in round 1. Hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga brad. Maraming salamat po and God bless.